Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. This video today will be more of a talking head video about uh, the preparation, design, and layout of a uh, deer fence in particular. Uh, if you're interested more in the building of the fence, go ahead and click and watch this playlist here. Uh, but first, let's get started on different things to think about when you're designing or laying out your fence. So first things first, you want to figure out your layout. There's some tools you can use. If you go on Google Maps, you can, you know, check out your, your land. And actually, if you right click, you know, select a point and then right click, you can measure distances and figure stuff out like that, which is pretty handy. So another thing to think about when you're laying it out, is there any easements on the property? Where's your boundary lines or um, property lines and stuff like that? For example, there's an irrigation ditch that runs through my property and they have an easement of 20 feet from the center of the ditch to uh, outside. Check with your local districts if you have this situation going through, but I mean, you could have power lines running through your property and they're gonna need access to those water lines or gas lines. There's just, you can check online or even in your title paperwork or the county should have this information and they will tell you if there's any easements that you need to know of. Another thing you want to think of is obstacles. Um, for example, here, I thought about putting a fence on, let's see if I could turn it, on this side of this, this is a ditch that all the water from the roadway comes off of and flows down into the pond there. But I thought about running a fence on this side of the ditch. Uh, if I was gonna do that, I would try and get it as close to the ditch so I'm not using up a lot of space that I could use for gardening but I've decided to put my fence on the upside on the road because that allows me, if I need to work in the ditch, something happens, gets clogged or something, I'm not stuck in between a fence and the ditch. The road's up there, I have all of this down here to play with and do whatever I need to do. So think about obstacles and once the fence is in, what makes it easier down the road? Another thing to think about too is vegetation that may, uh, maybe leaning towards where you want to put the fence or in the way of the fence or, you know, so trees, bushes. Um, I guess that's really all kind of vegetation you got. Grass, you can kind of just mow or dig out of the way. But yeah, think about these things and then also think ahead. What happens when this tree gets bigger and it's, is it going to be leaning towards the fence? Is it going to be harder or more difficult to get rid of later? So another thing to think about too which I'm considering an obstacle and in part of my layout is my property line is actually on the other side of those berries in this little gully here. There's no benefit to me having the fence go over there. It's more fencing, more time, more labor, and I'm not really getting that much of a benefit. I mean, that's the purpose of gates. So you can go outside of the gate of the fence area. Really, I'm putting this fence in to keep deer out. If they want to do their thing in there, that's fine with me. So yeah, don't over fence, you know, if you're not going to be able to use it, then don't, you know, necessarily fence it, which brings us to the next thing. The next thing you want to think about is gates, uh, access in and out of your fenced in area. I'm going to have multiple gates because I don't want to walk around just to get to some place. Uh, for example, I have a, a valve here, which gives me water from the ditch or access where your vehicles come in and enter. You're going to want to figure this out in your layout because you're going to need extra posts for these areas. And these are the things you need to think about when uh, thinking about putting in a fence. And uh, yeah, so if you're interested in what you've seen so far and want to see this uh, progress, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you found this video informative, uh, go ahead and hit the like. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Hey Olivia, are you done eating blackberries? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. 